What is going on photographers, Michael Anthony here. Today I wanna to talk to you about the AI revolution. There has been a lot of buzz in the media lately talking about AI and its effects on our overall economy. There's some economists predicting that 80% of jobs in the country are going to be at risk due to AI being so advanced that it has the potential to take over some of the tasks at a faster rate than what humans can produce. I wanna to talk to you for a second about how this is affecting our photography industry. In the last year or so, we've seen a lot of advancements in AI and things like editing, things like uh, Imagine AI or Aftershoot or some of these apps that we are using in our production process to make our lives a lot easier. Anybody who has used these tools would have to agree that they have in fact made our lives easier. But it doesn't just stop there because there are a lot of photographers right now that are really worried about how AI is going to affect them in the future. Just a couple days ago, I was in a forum and I saw some photographers talking about AI headshots. And just as a joke, I decided to test it out and see how this service actually performed. And what you essentially do is you take a couple of selfies, you upload it to the service, and it produces pretty realistic looking headshots. I know that some photographers are concerned about how this is going to affect our future and our industry and the things that we do. Now, if we were to look back at the film to digital transition, photographers that never adapted to that, the people who were running really busy film studios, didn't adapt, didn't change anything, eventually went out of business because the cost of film, the cost of production, the cost of bringing their product to fruition was significantly greater than that of their competitors and they were no longer able to compete, no longer able to offer their services at a price point that was competitive with the photographers that were working on digital photography. Now, I look at this kind of disruption in our industry, very similar to what was happening back then. Now, what I do see happening from AI, because if you think AI is not going to affect our industry and what we're doing, I'm gonna tell you right now, you should probably reconsider that position because it absolutely will affect what we're doing. And let me tell you how I think it's gonna affect us, right? If you're focused on taking creative portraits of people, for instance, the way that I shoot wedding photography right now, I focus very highly on artistic creative portraiture. I have a feeling that that side of this business, that side of the, the photography business is absolutely going to be affected by the advancement in AI. Why is that? Well, hey, I feel like people can take the pictures that we do for them on their wedding days or uh, photos of themselves, upload it to Mid Journey or one of these other AI apps and it can spit out some pretty incredible pictures for them. And it's not quite there yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> to where it can mimic actual photography being out on location, but it will be at some point in the very near future. At least that's my opinion on it. If I wasn't making adjustments in my business now to account for that, I feel like it could really affect the ability of us to earn a living in the future, right? Every photographer, what we're doing right here, we are solving a problem for people. And early on, I had to really ask myself in my business, what is the problem that we're solving for people? Is it the need to have artistic pictures of themselves on the wall? As a wedding photographer or a family portrait photographer, the one thing that we are solving for people is memory, right? We want to make sure that we're documenting this stage of their lives in the case of a wedding photographer, the happiest moment of their lives, or the case of a family photographer, their family growing from generation to generation. And we want to document that and we want to uh, capture that moment in time and preserve it in the form of things like artwork as well. In my opinion, photographers who focus on capturing and documenting memory from a photojournalistic point of view, and also from a marketing and branding point of view, they're gonna be immune to some of these initial disruptions that AI is gonna cause in the industry. If you're a wedding photographer, couples are looking to capture and document the day of, right? They're not looking to spit out artistic images through Mid Journey by typing in a bunch of prompts. So if you're focused on photojournalism, storytelling, things like that, I feel like you're going to be uh, immune to some of the changes, like I said before. If you're a family photographer and you're really focused on the memory aspect of it, in your branding, right? You talk about capturing memories, documenting um, the story of a family, day in the life sessions, things like that. Those are things that I really don't think will hit the same if somebody were to actually put in the prompts and spit out images, even if they look identical to the photos that you're taking because those moments didn't actually happen. So my opinion for you who are worried or any of you who are worried about this affecting you in your business is to focus on the memory side of things. Focus on documenting authentic moments. Focus on branding your business as a storyteller. And I think you're gonna do really well
well in this uh, in this new AI revolution. And in fact, I think be able to use some of these tools to your advantage to offer things like artistic portraiture as a side product to what you're already doing in your business. So that's my take on AI. I know a lot of you guys are concerned. I do absolutely think it's going to affect things like the headshot industry for business and corporate. I definitely think that this is something that, that can affect the industry moving forward. Um, we're gonna have to see how it all plays out. I can be completely wrong, but it's just my opinion and I want you guys all to be prepared just in case AI starts to take over more than it already has right now. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, drop them down below. I'm really interested in what your take is on how the AI revolution is going to affect the photography industry as a whole. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today and we'll catch you on the next one.